Hello fellow booktubers, my name is Lauren, you're watching Dreams Books Courage, and today is Top 5 Wednesday. For today's Top 5 Wednesday, we have Top Worlds. This topic definitely centers around fantasy books, but for my Top 5 spot, I put one that's not fantasy at all, and that is Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. And this is my awesome collection of all of Jane Austen's novels, which I have read all of them. But the reason I picked Pride and Prejudice is because although it is a very realistic world, it's not realistic at all for the time period we live in now. But in the 1800s, Victorian England is just one of the most awesome times I could ever think of and I'd really love to check that time period out. There's such beautiful dresses and the guys are so much more gentlemanly although some can still be jerks, as Jane Austen definitely proves within her novels. But I love the way that they talk. It just sounds so much more eloquent than how we structure sentences today. I think it's amazing to think about a world where there is no technology at all, especially nothing like what we have today. So I definitely love the Victorian era of England, and Jane Austen is one that made me love it, especially within Pride and Prejudice. Elizabeth Bennet and Darcy are just two of my favorite characters. I love them so much. They're adorable, especially towards the end. I just love everything about Jane Austen's books, especially the world they are set in. In the number four spot, I picked a book that might seem like a cop-out. I picked The Magician's Nephew, which is the first book in the Chronicles of Narnia series, although barely anyone ever talks about this book. Because the first movie that came out is The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, most people will read that, and not very many people read this book, but it is definitely worth the read. There's a lot of significance within these pools and the rings and everything. The rings have something to do with leading this child to another place, and in this world, it is made up of all the worlds you could ever think of. This world primarily consists of a bunch of trees, and so it's like a forest, but every few feet there's a new little pool, and within each of these pools is a different world. When the main characters go into one of these pools, they find an evil witch, and that witch ends up going after them outside of her own pool and into the pool of Narnia, and that is where the story of the Chronicles of Narnia pretty much starts. But it's just amazing to think that our own world is just within one of these little pools and that within this world are all the worlds. So maybe that's a cop out to pretty much say all the worlds, but still. This world in particular is completely fascinating to me and is unlike any other book I've ever read. Next up, I have the world of Percy Jackson and the Olympians. And this world is so awesome. It is filled with demigods and other creatures of mythology. And I personally love mythology and just the idea of it all. So I would definitely love this world. I think it's really interesting how these characters are half human and half god. And whichever god they descended from, they have special powers because of that. And so our main character, Percy, is the son of Poseidon. And so he can breathe underwater. And whenever he's underwater, his clothes never get wet. And he can talk to sea creatures. All those things just sound so amazing. And they definitely come in handy throughout these books. And then you have Annabeth, who is the daughter of Athena. And she is just super smart. And you can definitely see all of her powers coming through throughout the novels as well. If I was a demigod, I would definitely want to be the daughter of Poseidon because I just love the water already and I just love this world so much. Even though the gods didn't have a lot of issues, I feel like living in this world with all of these different kinds of powers is just a completely interesting take on mythology. In the number two spot, we have a world that keeps on growing and that is the world of the Shadow Hunters, which includes the Mortal Instruments series and also the Infernal Devices trilogy. As I've said in so many videos, I would definitely recommend both the series and this trilogy. They're just so amazing and the characters within them are just wonderful and lovable. We have creatures such as warlocks, fae, vampires, and werewolves along with the awesome shadow hunters. And the cool thing about shadow hunters is that they have these things called runes that are kind of like tattoos and sometimes temporary tattoos that strengthen certain abilities such as endurance or strength. Just anything like that and just all the powers and how it plays into the novels is just completely awesome and amazing. I would love to be a shadow hunter, though it looks like a whole lot of work. It definitely seems to pay off within these books. And then on one spot, I have a series that I have to mention because I absolutely love it and it is definitely a big part of what got me to reading so many books. And I'm sure a lot of booktubers are going to be saying this series it is just so amazing and such a huge part of a lot of our childhoods. And that is The Wizarding World of Harry Potter by J.K. Rowling, of course. 
I don't know many kids who didn't grow up wanting to know how to do spells, and witchcraft is just such an awesome thing. I went to Universal Studios not too long ago, and the Wizarding World of Harry Potter there was absolutely amazing. All the rides were awesome, and Butterbeer is just one of the best drinks I've ever had, and their candy shop was just wonderful. I would definitely suggest you all go check it out. But the movies are awesome, the books are awesome, the world that they built in Universal Studios is awesome. Just everything about the series and this world are just something that so many people have ingrained in their childhood, and they're definitely a big part of my life. And there's just so many types of creatures within these books that there's no point in trying to mention them all, but just read these books if you haven't already because I know so many people have, but they're so good and so amazing because this world will just enrapture you and you will just want to live in it so badly because it is so amazing. I can't bring enough justice to this amazing series, so I definitely recommend you read it, watch the movies, and go to the place itself. I hope you enjoyed this Top 5 Wednesday. Make sure to link your own video down below and I'll be sure to watch that. I'll see you guys next time. I'm gonna go get back trading. Bye!